Hello, everybody. Forgive me, but just as I was ready to key up the mic, the uh, neighbors started running lawn implements. Uh, so I apologize if that's what you're hearing. Um, we're reshooting this video. Uh, we we uh, did it once already, and I was not happy with the finished product. I didn't want to use it. Uh, so here we are taking a look at Ion Fury, the game formerly known as Ion Maiden until the uh, aging band Iron Maiden stepped in and said, wait a minute, that sounds too much like our name. Um, so now it's Ion Fury. Ion Maiden honestly is a better name for it strictly because the main character is a badass woman cop and uh, I Ion Maiden just sounds so much cooler in that context. Um, I love that it's got the classic style difficulty uh, screens. We're just going to go wanton, wanton Carnage. This game is difficult. It is unforgiving. In fact, the reviewer I watched before I decided to purchase it said he couldn't beat the final boss uh, without a cheat code. Um, and he said he tried for hours. It, it was just too much. Because this is one of those games, I guess, where bosses have lots of minions. Uh, sometimes a never-ending uh, flow of them. This game is... Uh, very much in the Duke Nukem, the classic Duke Nukem style, in that it's uh, the, the visual presentation is like a, a souped up version of that, because it looks better than the games from that era by a long shot, but it also isn't like, we're not looking at Doom Eternal level fidelity here, see it, it has a classic style to it um Run around, collect any ammo and armor that are in the environment. Uh, it's classic in that way. It doesn't have regenerating health. Um, it, uh, it. It's a very hard game. Let's see, watch. Let's see if a headshot does him in. I don't think headshots count. Talk oh, they do. Get shot. The revolver has this skill on it where it can mark enemies which is a cool thing um, you run around you pick up all the armor you pick up the ammo it's scattered everywhere uh, look we need a key card where can a key card be um, back here we get the key card off the console make sure our guns loaded and head on out. But like, I like everything about this game. I like its presentation. I like its faithfulness uh, to the source material. Uh, source material, but the uh, original. But it's uh, Think again, parodying One or homaging. Your blood for oh, my the headshots are a thing. Got good music. Feels good. It actually feels really good on a controller. Uh, I bet it's even better if you're used to mouse and keyboard. I'm not a mouse and keyboard player. I would struggle with it. But I, I, I like the way this game feels a lot. Alright, be ready. And here, these guys. I always struggle when games don't let you aim down sights. Um, it's just, uh, you know, years of playing shooters that have that mechanic. Whenever I, I come across one that doesn't, I, I struggle with it a little bit. But I'm getting the hang of this one. Yeah, that's where we go. Where is it? Not that door. That guy has a machine gun, so he's hard, hard to take care of. Sometimes they're a little slow to die, which is frustrating. At least you're wasting ammo.
come across that a number of times where I think a guy's gonna be dead and he's not. Okay. Or he's not. You know what I'm saying. Either. It's a very hard game. But definitely worth, in my opinion, $25. You get for $25 right now on the PlayStation, the Xbox, and the Switch. And obviously, it's been, I think it's been available on Steam for a while. Maybe as early access, but it was available. Shotgun now. Shotgun that doubles as a grenade launcher. Shotgun with good range, too. Soundtrack is so good. I, I really dig the sound of this game. I like this ad a whole lot. That's pretty solid. That's a solid uh, callback to Doom. Taco Bell. Taco Demons. Good stuff. Health. Okay, we are now officially farther than I've been yet. Yeah, I've noticed. I, I really love the, the vibe of this game. I like that, too. Alright. Next level, I guess. Okay, let's save. Before I forget. Because I don't know if it has auto checkpoints. Auto saves or anything. Well, I, I did just say it was saving, didn't it? Never mind. again. I never miss. He <laughs> you can kick their heads around. Okay. That's a nice, gross touch. I appreciate that. There's armor up there somehow. Hell. I really dig what they did here, though. I, I, I appreciate it. The, the quips, they're, they're hit or miss. They don't always land, but that's what you want. You don't want... You don't want a hero who 100% of the time says something pitch perfect, you know? Like... Oh, I didn't give me any more 
special. I thought I found a secret. So, find the blue key card. <clears throat> Yellow key card. Oof, man, that's a lot of meat. Okay, I, I just walked back to the other level. Turn around again. It's old school in that way, which is mildly frustrating. Like, it doesn't have the modern conveniences, the hand-holding, if you will, of uh, letting you know where you, okay, okay, here's the goal. This is where you need to be. That's not here. You won't find that in this game. The yellow key card. Found it. They must have been let out of a monster closet somewhere over there. Get over there. There we go. took me out. Wow. I said though, game's unforgiving. They will screw you up. This is the first one. Let's go back. Give it one more go. There's plainly some sort of monster closet that opens up and lets a bunch of people out. Face. Shotgun led in the face. Didn't take his head off though. Yellow key card. Where was the yellow one out of here? Big fight. Nothing that laying down another beating can't solve. Is that it? Is that what we came up here for? <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Get the baton back out. What did it say? was unlocked. This one? I doubt it. Yeah. What door did I just unlock? This one. Duh. I spray, you pray. See, they look quips. Don't always land. They're not always hilarious. But they're sufficient. Oh, shoot. Hundred percent not what I expected to see when I shot that guy. I did not expect to see him catch on fire. Oh, 
it down, little girl. This is your final warning. What are you gonna do? Send me to my room? <sighs> that was weird. Oh no, the spider. Oh, that's a new type. This was a little head on a drone, wasn't it? I need health. Almost dead. Almost dead. We're almost dead. I almost bit the farm. Took three shots to kill him. Woo! That was some terrible shooting on my part. Oh man, and it. For this. This game doesn't like us much. Why'd he blow a hole in the door if he can open it? This is gonna be a bad time. But it is old school. That's what I wanted. Door could just kill me. I think the door killed me. Alright, let's give it one more try and then we'll wrap this. out by the flying heads. Alright, this time one more try. I promise. We'll move on to the next game. Right after this. One more attempt at this sequence. This is ridiculous that he... 
Okay, that was it. I promise um, we'll come back to this game in the future. But uh, this has been Iron Fury. It's a nice 20-ish uh, minute look at it. Uh, it's going to appeal to you or it isn't. You know, it being this old Duke Nukem looking thing um, isn't going to appeal to everybody. You know, there's going to be people that hate it. There's going to be people that think it looks like trash. There are going to be people that are going to be put off by how hard it is. It, it is a unforgiving classic first-person shooter uh, with, you know, no waypoint system, no map, uh, enemies that are pretty relentless. Um, and... Uh, you know, nice weapons, nice alternative firing modes. That's old school in the sense that, you know, there's no, uh, you don't have that nice, um, the modern conveniences of regenerating health and things like that in this game. It's, this game wants to eat your lunch. You know, it wants to F you up. And it will. Um, I quite enjoy it though. Uh, we'll be return to it in the near future. Probably do a whole playthrough of it. See, see how far we can get. Because I understand it gets hard. Uh, as I said earlier on in the uh, recording, that the uh, individual who reviewed it that I watched, he couldn't finish it. He had to uh, he had to find himself a cheat code to beat the last boss. So um, it sounds like it gets brutal, and I and I really, really, really want to experience it uh, with you all too. Like that's the key thing. I want to do it and have it streamed. Uh, so this will definitely be a game we revisit in the near future. Probably start it from the beginning and do a solid playthrough of it. Uh, but this has been the live Polynerd playtest of this. Uh, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. The social links beneath my face. Uh, also on Facebook and Patreon and Twitch if you're watching this on YouTube. And page, uh, there's a Polynerd.com, the main website. And we're also on Patreon and Coffee uh, if you feel like donating to the cause of making this a better production uh, because that's what all funds will be for it'll be to buy better equipment and um, you know, just make a general better product uh, better equipment uh, things to stream stuff like that you know if I could make this a self-sufficient project it, it would it would be a godsend um, this game's hard I'm about to die again and uh, you didn't see it because I had it up on my face because I was signing off instead of playing more of the game. The game's good. That, that'll show you. I'm trying to quit the video, and I just found myself continuing to play it. Um, be right back with Hunt Down, another classic-style shooter, but of the Contra variety.